In this problem, we're being asked to find the slope and the y-intercept of a line. And we've got this equation, and it's not in slope-intercept form. That slope-intercept form has y on one side and something multiplied by x on the other side and maybe some other number added or subtracted. And when you have it in this form, this is slope-intercept form, this is the slope. So it's pretty easy if you've got it in that form. And this is your y-intercept. So I think the easiest way to approach a problem like this is just put it in slope-intercept form, that is to solve for y. So let's try to get y over here on the left and everything else over on the right and see what we get. Um, I first need to get rid of this 4x. So this is a positive 4x. I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. So on this side, it just leaves the negative 2y. On the other side, I'm going to write the x term first because that's how we traditionally write the slope-intercept form. So this is going to be a negative 4x, and then we've got a minus 3. Don't forget that minus sign. Now to finish solving for y, I need to divide by a negative 2. And both terms get divided by negative 2 over here. So negative 2 divided by negative 2 is just a positive 1. That makes this just plain old y. That's what we wanted. That's what we were going for. Over here, I've got a negative 4 divided by a negative 2. Negative divided by a negative is a positive. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So this is 2x. And then negative 3 divided by negative 2, that's a positive 3 halves. So our slope is the number that's multiplied by x. That is 2. And our y-intercept is the other number, and that's 3 halves. You have to be careful with the sign here. The sign matters. If that's at a negative 3 halves, we'd have to include that in our answer. Since this is a positive number, um, we just write 3 halves. So that is how to find the slope and the y-intercept when you have an equation like this one.